Hey guys, Ben here from 3N Gaming, and I'm going to bring you Cave Story Plus. I'm going to be playing with the uh, music as remasters and the graphics as new, just in case you're wondering. New game entirely, and I'm going to be playing on original. Someone's transmission. Connecting the network. Log on. some dialogue between Kazuma here and trying to contact Sue but just can't seem to get a hold of her. I'll find out why in just here in a little bit. Now if you never played Cave Story it is quite weird. Because Z is the jump in this game. Which most games don't do this. Right up here, you get your first life capsule. Life capsule increase your max life, all good stuff like that. And the bats touch them, you get hurt, obviously, like I did earlier. Jump over here, jump that way, hurt a little bit. Go to the sleeping gunsmith. Walk back here, just kind of take this chest, you get a polar star. First gun in the game, pretty useful. And then you see Kazuma try on the contact Sue again. Now X is shoot. And you see these little yellow triangles, these are actually experience. And you don't level up your character, you level up guns. Make your guns more powerful. Before we leave this cave, I should have Polar Star at level 2 and you'll see what that looks like. And these are health pickups, obviously, against the heart. We have two, like, yeah, two, I think, health each. Now this you don't want to walk right up to, it's a door, but it's actually a monster. And I'm pretty sure it's actually the only one in the game you can see. But now the Polar Star is level 2 and it shoots 2 shots. And does 2 damage instead of 1. Now here are 2 characters, which I just assume these are can kind of be called the main uh, creatures of the cave story. And it appears that some doctor is kidnapping these little guys. You come falling in just the right time from somewhere from above and save her. King number one. Only six left in the village though. And Sue is number seven, but she's not one of them. Apparently she's an outsider. And Sue is the one that Kazuma was trying to contact in the beginning, but we don't know who either of these people are yet. And these are health, they refill your life. And later on they also refill other things. First things first is we'll be getting the first item besides the total star. Jump this way, you get the map system. Something's written. As long as you always maintain a sense of exploration, you will someday find a way out. This is my hope. Now you have a map that you can open at any time. By pressing W. And then also, your A and uh, S key to switch guns if we have more than one, but right now we don't, so not much use. Uh, next thing you'll want to do after getting the uh, map, run over here to the reservoir. Um, make this jump, I'm like, I did. 
our cool guy fishing here. So apparently Stu fell on here and you see a glittering spot in the water. Just get a silver locket. Now there's a fish here. It's not too clear initially where she goes, but you can find it easy enough. She, she goes one direction. This is the only thing in this direction. She comes out with a bamboo stick, looks like, and you just shoot her once and it defeats her, but she really realizes that you're not the doctor, so... Recognizes the pin that Sue gave it to her. And this is where we get introduced to a few of the enemies of the game. The big lunchbox guy being Balrog, and then Misery being Red Eyed Witch. They mistake her for Sue, though, and capture her. Now here, if you choose to, you can fight Balrog, but you don't have to if you don't want to. It's pretty easy, though. As long as you have, um, level 2 polar star, you shouldn't have any trouble, so... And then just Skype. Oh, and if he attacks you, he'll, um grab you and throw you a short distance. There he goes. It's into that. Defeated Bell Rock. Back up to level two. Now we just head back up here and explore a little bit more. Health back, save. Go over here. And here is the number two of the village. Who runs off to go inform King. Now if you actually go in there, it'll be King and him talking. And they'll be talking about how the only other key to Arthur's house, which is where Sue's hiding out, because they want to get the Sue, because they think it's her fault. Because the only key is left at Arthur's grave. And there's Arthur's grave up there, with all these mushrooms. This guy right here, he's called the Gravekeeper. You have to jump over him, and you can't shoot him with a sword up, unless you hit him in the back. The mushrooms pose no threat whatsoever, they die in one hit. The big mushroom, however, takes part of few hits, 12 damage seems like. Arthur's grave. Something is written on the headstone. Here rests the true Mimigo hero, Arthur. Found Arthur's key. Jumping along, jumping along. Now Arthur's house is right here. Use the key, get inside. Now you'll actually see that no one's here, so we'll just go ahead and save. Oh, lag. So it appears Cosmo has actually been sending messages here, so this must be where she's hiding out. Teleport to the egg corridor. We end up in this place. Some elephants, some green frog things, white thing in the bottom, white thing in the bottom is deadly. However, we need to run past him to get that life capsule there. There we go. 
Now I will be 100%ing this. Not all of the live capsules, but I will be not maybe not all the missile upgrades, but I will, however, be getting all of the items except for. I keep thinking right off the top of my head what it's called, but if I get to it and I don't get it, I will let you guys know how you can get it. I can't remember exactly what it's called, though. But no spoiler for now. And you can see my polar star is level 3 now, so it just completely obliterates all of these guys. No chance. No chance to it. Now here you'll see an awesome battle. Ouch. Oh jeez. Oh. just kind of like attaches him to his collar and just walks off with her. Not sure why you don't do anything about it earlier, but oh well. Now here's Cthulhu's ab abdobe, and these guys are called Cthulhu's. Soldier from the surface. Blonde pal. Memory loss. What? So apparently we have a blonde pal and we're a soldier from the sky. Oh, I almost missed that. Okay, third lap capsule. I have 13 health, getting pretty good so far. Considering we started with three. Of course. Oh no! Whoa, 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 whoa. That was awfully, awfully close. That was kind of good. Oh man. Um, jeez, that's what these clothes call. Uh. Oh no! Oh man, seems like I'm doing it on purpose now. All right, here's another save. Now you can see there's a chest up there, some hearts down here. Let's go run across these. Open cover chest. Same missile launcher. Second gun of the game is the missile launcher. But it has limited ammunition, and as you go on, you get more missiles for it. Now here we can see what each uh, dragon egg that we passed earlier status is. If you walk through the bottom ones, you'll notice that number one and number uh, six down here have some problems. Now we're gonna go check this out, see what exactly these problems are. And if you leave and come back, there will actually be some uh, missile pickups in the uh, bottom right hand corner. Now here's an example of the missile. Alright. Pretty powerful. Gets even powerful later on. Kitchen a ride. Good big guy now. See, so it appears the missile launcher is 10 damage. These are the big missile pickups. There's also a big heart pickup that we haven't seen yet. Okay, so if you remember, egg six and egg one have actually been and need to be more examined. However, you'll have to find out what's in the next episode. This has been Ben from Three and Gaming.